Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode from Network From Home. Today, we have a quick video for you talking about the Ethernet ports on your router. We'll talk about the two different types of Ethernet ports you can find on your router and how you go about connecting to those different types of Ethernet ports. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we have our router here, very standard. Let's take a look at the Ethernet ports that you have on your router. On the back here, you can see right here, there are four orange Ethernet ports and there is one blue Ethernet port. These are the ones we're going to be taking a look at. We're going to start with that blue Ethernet port. Let's take a look at it and see what it does. All right, so we're looking at this blue Ethernet port here. It's clearly labeled Internet. This Ethernet port is also known as your WAN port or Wide Area Network port. All it's used for, this is how your router gets its internet connection from the modem. So in order to pass an internet connection to your devices over a wireless network, it, your router itself needs to have an internet connection that it can pass along. And it gets that from your modem. On your router, you'll only have one WAN port. Let's take a look at how it's connected to your modem. All right, so how do we go about connecting to the WAN port of our router? As I mentioned, the WAN port is used to connect your modem and your router. So we need a handy dandy modem on hand. And this is just an example. This modem would have a connection here to the internet and it would be the power cord would be plugged into it. But assuming your modem has an active internet connection, this is how it's connected to your router. We also need an ethernet cable to make that happen. So as we mentioned, that the WAN port is the blue ethernet port on the back. We'll connect one end of the ethernet cable into the WAN port. So let's take a look at where we connect the other end of the cable. It's pretty self-explanatory. On the back of your modem, there's only one ethernet port and it's labeled ethernet. So all you do is you connect the other end of the ethernet cable there. Now your modem will be passing its active internet connection to your router, which can then pass that internet connection to your devices over these wireless antennas and over a wireless network. All right, now that we've got the WAN port squared away, let's look at the other category of ethernet port on your router. Next up, you have these four ethernet ports here. As you can see, they're labeled ethernet one, two, three, four. These ports are also known as LAN ports or local area network. And they are simply used to provide specific devices with wired internet connections. If you connect a device to your router directly with an ethernet cable, it will have a wired internet connection. And that's what these ports are for. Now let's talk about an example about how these can be connected or how you actually go about connecting a device to the LAN port. Okay. Let's take a look at how we connect devices to our LAN ports of our router for wired internet connections. First, we need a device. Let's just use a laptop as an example here. As you can see, this laptop right here, this is an ethernet port. All we want to do here, we're gonna get our ethernet cable back into the picture here. We're going to take one end, plug it into the Ethernet port of our laptop. And here's where you might have some questions. We have our four LAN ports on the back of our router. The question is, which Ethernet port do we plug the Ethernet cable into? The simple answer here is 
it doesn't matter. I can plug it into the fourth position here, and this laptop will have a wired internet connection. I can plug it into the first position here. It doesn't matter. This device will still have a wired internet connection. All four of these ethernet ports are exactly the same. And this is what you'll generally find. If you're looking at the back of your router, you most likely have four ethernet ports or four LAN ethernet ports on the back of it. That's the most standard. And what this means is you can provide four devices sorry, four devices out of the box with wired internet connections. All right, that pretty much covers it for the LAN ports on your router. So that's pretty much all you need to know about the ethernet ports on your router. You're going to have one WAN port that you connect to your modem. You're going to have four, most likely you're going to have four LAN Ethernet ports that you can use to provide wired, wired internet connections to your devices. And that's pretty much it. If you're looking for more information or have additional questions, I'll link to an associated blog post that I've written on this same topic. And that's about it. That's all you need to know. You should be able to go forth and conquer with your router and all the Ethernet ports on your router. Thank you for tuning in to another episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.